The Liskov substitution principle states that objects of a superclass should be replaceable with objects of its subclass without affecting the correctness of the program. But what does that mean? It means that if class B is a subclass of class A, then we should be able to replace A with B without disrupting the behavior of our program. In short, a subclass can stand in for its parent class. Now imagine a parking lot designed for vehicles. The parking lot can accommodate any type of vehicle such as a car, a motorcycle, or a truck. According to LSP, if we design the parking lot for the vehicle class, we should be able to park any subclass of vehicle, a car, motorcycle, or truck, without needing to change the parking lot's design. Uh oh. Here comes a vehicle that cannot fit into the lot. Trust me, there is no possible way that truck is going to fit. This here would indicate a violation of LSP. Let's look at a code example where the goal is to ensure that all user types can be managed consistently. In this example, the process user function expects all user objects to have an access admin panel method which is not appropriate for the member class. When a member is called, it will fail. To adhere to LSP, we need to ensure that any subclass of user can be used in place of a user without causing errors. In this revised design, the perform role specific action method is designed in the user class and overridden in each subclass to provide role specific functionality. The process user function now correctly handles both admins and members, ensuring that subclasses of user are interchangeable without issues. The bottom line is that the code is more maintainable and scalable.